Hey everybody, it's Giselle and welcome back to my channel. This is a pile of mail that has accumulated over months and months and months. And I'm saying this is just a small pile um, that I need to go through. Um, I actually have a box full of stuff and papers that I need to go through as well. I can never seem to get on top of the paper situation. I'm, there's paper all over the place and this time I'm trying to get it to at a decent size where I can manage. So right now I have a desk in my room that I craft on and I do little things on in terms of bill payment and, and stuff like that. In my living room I have a smaller desk with a little um, side cabinet that I had organized in the summer and I put some of the mail that I was not mail but papers that I was trying to sort out and throw away. So I'm going to look at that again and I'm going to try and to get through developing a system that works best for me and that probably be like point A, B and C system like when the mail comes in what do I do with it? Where am I going to sort it? Or is it one place or two places that I should sort it? What am I going to keep? Um, I suppose of what can be thrown at and what I currently have, what can go out. So I'm going to let you know where I am with that. And then hopefully I can take you on with that process. Um, as I sort through the mail. So stick with me, um, as I go through this process that I don't like to do because it's never ending. I get mail mostly every single day and a lot of it's junk mail and I just come home and I put it down somewhere either in my room, on my desk, on my bed, uh, on the kitchen counter, on the dining room table. It just piles everywhere so I need to find a way to best deal with mail and a system that doesn't hoard all the junk and, and it just gets rid of stuff. So on to decluttering and this is one thing I need to tackle now. See you in the next one. Bye. Okay so we are in sort of like the hallway um, near my kitchen and my front entrance. Um, if you don't know I live in a, a condominium and I um, so this shelf is just outside like I said, of my kitchen. And so when I walk in from my front hall, I naturally gravitate towards here, either to go into the kitchen to my put my lunch pan down or something here. This is usually a little bit more clear. Yes, we're in February and I still have Christmas decorations up, but this is going this weekend. And we're just at the beginning of February. So once I was thinking about the mail, and the papers that I need to sort. I noticed that I have three bins. I think it's three or four bins. And most of the, these bins don't have anything in it. Sorry if it's dark, but um, there's not a lot of light, uh, natural or unnatural here. And anyway, so I thought I can just put the mail in here. So this is step one of when I come in, I'm gonna put it here. And then I'm gonna just figure out how I deal with it probably once a week um, and that will I'm even gonna label it so if I see the label it says like Saturday or Sunday usually is probably the day that I would choose to go through that then I will go through and you can already see that I started putting some mail I looked at it and I said I really need to go through these this is something that probably could be put aside for um, a later time and it's not a huge rush and it probably just needs to be filed away okay so that's step two in the process of organizing all the letters and mail that I have see you in the next one okay so I've gotten it down into two piles that one big pile that I showed you uh, is just a portion of the organization that I have to do but I if I don't get started um, it'll never get done and so I wanted to target it from or tackle it from this going forward so when I get my mail put it a, a certain place a certain day of the week 
go through the mail and sort it and then file it or deal with it as needed. So this pile here, and it might get down simplified because it seems like I have two of these, uh, down to a, a little bit more. But these um, is going to be filed in like a more long term that I don't need to go to every week, every month, maybe a couple times a year just to check stuff out and or I can't throw it away because I need to have it. And this definitely will probably be uh, window down to a few pieces because there's some bills and some credit card statements here that I definitely can now throw away and this is just another pile that I tackled same thing um, it'll probably dwindle down so as I'm doing this I'm still trying to figure out do I f keep a file system in my room slash craft area slash home office because I have a little spot or do I keep it in a little spot in the living room? But once I've decided that, it might be a combination of both. Um, I'll let you know. So I'll show you what I've come up with after I've sorted these two small piles. Okay, see you in the next one. Okay, so I have filtered through the papers. <clears throat> Sorry. And I have uh, put them in these file folders that I just... Um, got from the dollar store. I've had them in my stock so I didn't purchase anything. Again, I'm trying to use everything or use what I have before I buy and also try out to make sure that this system is working before before I invest in more expensive or new file folders or a new system. So I just um, take my mail from a bin um, that I have in the hallway in that shelf that I showed you. Uh, I take it out there from there and I'm doing that once a week. Uh, so far it's been on a Sunday and I um, open up my mail and I sort it by action and then um, to be filed. Now this to be filed <laughs> is a little, uh, let's show you here, is a little sick is that it's because all that paperwork that I had uh, for months just piled up I've put into here and now I just needed to file in file folders in another video I sh I'll show you where I file them so this one is the action file and of course it's a little thick it's because I had that stack of paper that I was sorting out and it was months and months of mail um, so some of that mail has been thrown into the garbage and then spit into these files and of course I'm trying to keep up on a weekly basis with all the mail that comes in during the week so this file is um, thick and I have a filing cabinet it's a little one it's just a plastic drawer system it's a three drawer three or four drawer system the bottom drawer is where I can hang files so I already had started organizing in the summer um, so I do have hanging files there and then, uh, so what I'll do is just take the folder to be filed into my living room. Um, and it's either I'm going to be sorting it there or I'm going to sort it in my room on my desk. Um, this is just a folder of my benefits program that I just printed out what's covered. And this is to shred. So um, this I'll just put through my shredder. And shred these papers I just didn't throw them in the garbage so I also made a, a couple of folders because I thought these I'll just keep in my desk um, in my room so I can just literally just put it here because um, it's thin enough and if I happen to do the mail in here I have the two folders here these folders the two folders the two action and uh, to be filed folders will be kept once it's empty at my desk in the living room and so I just thought instead of just in case my thought process is to bring the mail from the cabinet into my room I would already have two file folders here and once I've emptied these um, I put it I'll put it back on my desk um, so this is still uh, part of my organization process that 
I hope to make it a habit and hopefully it works for me so that I'm getting rid of paper constantly that I'm throwing things out. Even when I went through this process, I was counting how many months I was keeping. I had stuff in there from July um, and stuff. I think the latest stuff was like my credit card bills and stuff like that. Um, they're old. And because I don't have that credit card anymore, uh, as of 2017, I'm getting rid of all my debt. Um, so I didn't really need to uh, keep those. Um, yeah, so this process is a really, really good. I still have a lot of stuff and I still have a huge box that I need to go through. And that might be easier because I, I will probably be more able to just shred, toss and shred and get rid of. And um, I do have stuff that I keep like for my, because I live in a condominium, so there's bylaws or whatever um, that I keep. And anything that I get in the mail from the management office or this corporation, I keep um, so I can always reference. So stuff like that I'll keep, anything on my car insurance. Um, when I renew, I can throw out the old stuff and bring in the new stuff. That kind of thing is out in that cabinet. and. Um, hopefully it won't build too much I sh there shouldn't be a lot I shouldn't have a lot of things that I'm storing for a long process um, or forever there will be stuff for the my condominium that I will have to store and for the girls um, like my investments and stuff that would be long long term but there should be other stuff um, that I'm purging on a regular so even though I'm filing there as a longer term I'm still gonna purge after um, I don't need it anymore so hopefully this works I'm sure it will and hopefully I've given some ideas to other people who struggle just like I do with getting rid of their um, paper clutter I'm still in the process I'm not even quite there yet because I'm still decluttering I just didn't want to go backwards and have to move forward because it um, it I, I wouldn't be doing it now so I'm starting um, to do it now and then kind of work my way backwards so keep up with the newer stuff and then go through the older stuff um, for me that helps and um, to get the process going maintaining a system and then get rid of the old bad habits and the old stuff that I don't really need it anymore so thank you so much for watching um, feel free to leave me a comment on what you do to contain your paper because I find it's a never ending this constant paper coming into my house and especially because I don't go to my mailbox every day it's just I come with a big pile and I just put it down so uh, now that I have a place to put it uh, like today is Sunday so it helped me get rid of um, the mail and file my papers um, sooner than later and write down things that I need to do in terms of paying bills or to call a certain place um, right away instead of waiting. I'm a huge procrastinator so this will help me tackle things. So yeah, leave me a comment and let me know what you do to handle all your stuff, all this paper that just keeps coming in. Um, hope everybody has a great week and see you in the next one and if you haven't already please please subscribe to my channel um i would like you to be a uh, continuous part of my family and thanks so much for everybody who has continued to support me take care have a great day bye